pleasant good morning to all our viewers, to all our listeners, um, wherever you are at this point in time. Uh, we want to bid you a very warm welcome to today's edition of the Good Old Days here on 2020 Vision Radio. And it's always a pleasure spending this time on a Saturday morning with you. We can, we can interact as a Good Old Days family. We are really hoping that your weekend is going well thus far. And we are praying for safety for everyone. It's a brand new day. And it's a brand new opportunity to give thanks and at least to be of some assistance to someone out there. And so we want to really warmly welcome those here in Nevis, those over there in Sinkis, those in the region, and those further afield. Welcome. And we say a pleasant good morning to Shefton. Good morning, Ren. Okay, good morning to Mr. Bertram Roach. Our, <laughs> okay, our celebrant for today, um, you know, he turned 99 this past Wednesday, and we are celebrating with him. He's going to be sharing with us, and we are giving thanks with him um, and his family as he celebrates, um, you know, the journey that he has covered thus far, and he has reached this far by the help of the Almighty. And we also said good morning to our um, resident historian. Mr. Spencer Howell, okay, he is here with us, um, you know, supporting his brother um, Bertram. And we also have Vanessa, okay, Vanessa Paris, okay, and everybody knows Vanessa, that's the daughter of Bertram, and she'll here to give, she's here to give support, okay, all right, so, you know, we are here as one family, so, yes, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning um, to our Good Old Days family. Um, good morning to you, Chesley Wren, and our guest in the studio, Vanessa, a uh, long-term acquaintance of mine, um, good mentor to my dear son, um, so I appreciate her. Uh, Mr. Howell, as Chesley said, our resident historian, we can call on, me, on him anytime. And Mr. Bo Bertram Roach, the man of the moment and the man of the day. Um, it's good to have you all with us. I say good morning to our good old days class and family who are logged on um, by Facebook. We are happy to have you in our company again today. And as usual, we look forward to this time of interaction, um, a time where we expect to learn things, a time where we expect to share. I want to say good morning to Jetty Taylor, who, is, who was first in class, saying good morning. Sharon Pemberton um, joined in a little later, saying good morning, Full House. Yes, Sharon. I'm seeing to Celine Tobias saying bless good morning um and sharon says i'm here watching janice the pianist oh funeral and was wondering if you all were in attendance um okay yes celine sandra willett is also locked down and he's saying morning neighbor and the rest of the crew <laughs> 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 yes. yes so yes it's good to have you all Logged into the good old days once more, and I mean, we will all be the better for the time spent here. Uh, once again, good morning and welcome all. Ren? A very good morning to you, Shefton. Good morning to everybody who's logged on, tuned in. Um, it's uh, another good old days opportunity. And today's a day, I don't know for you guys, normally I look forward to the good old days, um, you know, and I get hyped when it comes around Friday or so. But all week I've been thinking about Saturday. I just couldn't wait for Saturday to come. I felt that I was the one that's going to be 99. <laughs> but, it's <laughs> but it's great to be celebrating such a milestone with a very humble gentleman. Had the pleasure to meet him you know, many years ago. And I believe that he'll be blessing us this morning again with his um, one of his talents playing the Moth Argon, uh, instrument of which I'm very fond. And I believe all of us. Um, also, very happy today, um, Shefton, guys, Chesley, everybody, because my mother celebrated 92 yesterday. Oh, wow. And, um, wow. you know, I was very happy, very excited, had a nice conversation with her yesterday. And uh, she's still, you know, very alert and knows everybody and what's going on around her. And that's really, really a very, very great blessing. So congratulations, Mr. Roach, and welcome to 2020 Vision Studio. And welcome to the Good Old Days family. You are the celebrated today, and you'll be celebrated all over the world. And those of you who are logged on, feel free to send in your comments or 
Better yet, give us a call. He'll be happy to hear your voice. May not know you, but, you know, just to know that there's somebody out there thinking and, uh, you know, commending him. You got a question or whatever. Please feel free to be a part of the program. Um, off camera is a very good friend of mine. You know, I don't know why she's not sitting next to me. <laughs> I just don't know why she's not sitting next to me. But anyway, we'll deal with that later. So Tessa is in the house. I'm supposed she's supporting uh, Mr. Howell, who is always with us. Whether he's in studio or out studio, we can always, as Shefton remarked, we can always call on him. He's always very, very ready to give us support here at 2020. And everyone that supports 2020, wherever you are, we always want to take the opportunity to let you know how grateful we are because, you know, um, 2020 makes an effort to reach out to everybody. And sometimes, you know, you just can't know who is listening unless you, you, you uh, respond. So thank you all for, your, for responding. Thank you for your donations of every kind. Thank you for your support. And 2020 can only be the stronger because of you. All right, so look forward to a great program. So everybody, stay tuned. Back over to you, Chesley. Okay, just before Chesley comes in, I see a couple of persons here who I, who I want to um, recognize again. Okay, Larry and Dickens is saying good good Saturday morning all. I'm seeing a uh, Fallon um, Fallon Paris Keynes watching from the UK. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Mommy. Oh, just <laughs> Hi, Uncle Spencer. <laughs> great, great, great. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Have a great show. Mm -hmm. And I'm also seeing this very special um, gentleman here, Oriel Thompson. Mm. And Oriel Thompson says, to the good old days, family are blessed and, and happy 99th birthday to Uncle Bertram Roach. Mm -hmm. May the Lord bless him with great health for the rest of his days. Good morning also to historian Spencer Howell and Tessa. I can't wait to listen to Uncle Bert. Sharon is saying, oh, wow. Mucho <laughs> blessings to... Oh, Mrs. Duo, belated greetings. Judy Paris Rollins is in as well saying, good morning from the USA. Love you, Uncle Bert and Uncle Spencer. Um, Donna is in as well. I don't know if I read a, um, a, um, a submission from Donna for a little while now, you know. Come, come to think of it. That's Donna Howell Vinson. Well, Rev when she's not watching, she's Donna. listening. Reverend Donna. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess that is it. Yes, she's she always. Said, and she says, good morning. Yeah, uh, yes, good morning, 2020 Vision family. God bless you, Uncle Bertram. Vanessa, Tessa, and family watching in Troy. Sharon Roach is in saying good morning from Sherry in Texas. Happy yes. birthday, Daddy. Eugene Hanley is saying good morning, team, coming from South Texas. And so you, you see why I had to read those before Chesley went. went mm -hmm. uh, you see why I had to yeah, do those yeah. before Chesley take over. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. okay, well, we all know that, um, you know, Mr. Roach, um, you know, he's a great Nivision patriot. Mm -hmm. And he said that he wants to begin with the national anthem. All right, so he's going to play it for us on his Mount Argon. And we really, um, you know, admire the way he has shared with us over the years. Um, he has mastered the art of playing that um, harmonica. And he's going to bless our heart this morning, of course. So he's going to play let, now let's the national anthem. Let's let, let just take this, yes. this early call before. Yes. We, um, good morning, you're on the good old days. Good morning. I'm not coming to school today. I buy the phone, I will serve it. Oh, okay, Rhonda. Okay. Thank you very much. You're going to miss a very, a very special program today, Rhonda. <laughs> but anyway, we understand. Uh, yes. Well, she'll have a chance to hear it another time. Okay. Mark me up, all right. All right. <laughs> you have a diligent student. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Mr. Roach. Yes. National anthem. between Spencer and Bertram, you know, they share um, some 189 years. Hmm. 
189 well, years. I, I think yes. he just played the motor yes. at, at age nine, not oh, 99. Yes, yes. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, and Bertram has 99 of um, of those years. Mm. Um, but I think it would be good if, um, you know, that his birthday was celebrated on Wednesday. But let's join our voices and sing for him. Yes. Happy birthday. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. May the good Lord, may the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord, may the good Lord, may the good Lord bless you. And of course, we love you. We love you. We do. We love you, we do. We love you, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. So we, you think we can clap to 99? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, um, well, you, let, me, let me cut across you again. Um, Chesley, you know, I mean, yeah. Um, I take the next comment from Vanessa Williams in Blessing to Bert and Spence. Yeah. Keep going. You are troopers. Adele says, Adele McKenna says, good morning, everyone. Um, another comment from Sassandra really says, Ren, please turn up the volume a bit. Okay. It's a bit low and I am not, okay, hearing clearly. We, we, we'll see. I say, I, I really want clearly and I really want to hear my neighbor. <laughs> okay, Sandra, and, Sandra, um, turn, up, turn up your volume, Sandra. And um, and we have a, 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 a greeting here from a, 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 a one who is very special and dear to me, my dear son. Um, this is Leon Julius, and she, he's hailing out Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's Vanessa's son too. Eh? Yeah, 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 Vanessa okay. has been a mentor to him for years, for which I am very thankful. And I mean, because of Vanessa's intervention in his life, he has gone from in leaps and bounds from strength to strength. He's holding down a big position there in um, four season downtown New York. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let me see. Oh, okay. Sanjay says, I'm at, I'm at attention, LOL, for the... For the <laughs> But that's and Sam. Sharon mm -hmm. Wood says, "Wonderful, Dad." She got sanities now. That's in in, mm -hmm. in response to the uh, rendering of the national anthem. Uh, Vanessa Williams says, "Beautiful rendition." Uh, my dear cousin, I'm in Liber, and I hope Eldina and Gregory are, are, are tuned in with you. Um, she's viewing us from the in the United States. She says, "Good morning to all. Good morning to you as well, my dear." Sharon Pemberton says, "I like that new verse added to the birthday song." Are you good? <laughs> and, and Leon is shouting, yeah. Sherry says, my dad needs to move a little over to the left so we can see him better. Oh, we can see. We can see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks for that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, be a little closer to, to, to Spencer. And then and the, and the shift the mic. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm sure you're going to love that, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Here's the Claxton says, good morning all. That was an awesome birthday song. song. Enjoy the rest of the birthday. Okay, and I will also, before I forget, because uh, um, we're going to have a lot of sharing on the page here today. I hope we get some calls as well. And Sharon says, thank you for making the adjustment. I want to greet some people who are special to me, my dear niece, Tammy, and her Chup in Anguilla. I want to greet um, persons like Kaleta, Tamisha, um, um, Claudia, Dejane, and the others. Those are my nieces, and they are a, a big, um, a big part of my my support. You know, they, they they encourage me in everything I do, and so I have to always remember them. Yes. Okay. Um, so back yes. to you now, Chesley. You know the, the the names Spence and Bert. I love them. Those are the beautiful <laughs> names. <laughs> So, so Bert, um, yes, Bert, um, how does it feel to be 99? What's the feeling? <laughs> What's the hard times? <laughs> <laughs> the hard, the yes. hard times flood me on, you know. Yes, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, well, so and my traveling days, you know. Okay. And I've come to the conclusion that I've met more genuine people in my life. 
an awkward ones. Oh, very, oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm-hmm. Okay. I had, right? I had um, 44 years in, in England. I had um, uh, five years in Trinidad. I lived in St. Vincent. I lived in Beckway. I lived all over. And I thank God Amen. for bringing me thus far. Amen. Bringing me thus far. Someday, I hope to meet him. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm not, I was never really a religious person. But I remember, I remember, people never thought about anything to do with religion. But I remember one Christmas Eve night, I wanted to get away from Nevis, when, when I left school and everything. And I could really remember, this is a dream that, I, I don't ever call it a dream. But I was on a ladder going up to heaven. I was on a, this is a dream I had, it is a dream I can't forget. And when I reached and burst through the clouds and, and the ladder breast there, I, I couldn't get in. They wouldn't let me in. They wouldn't, they wouldn't let me in. The time was not right. The time was not right. That's it. That's the, that's the word for it. Yeah. The word was not right. Yeah. So, I'm glad to be here. I'm among the right people. Yeah. At the right time. Yes. I'm <laughs> glad, I've got a wonderful family. Children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Yeah. Okay. And um, I'm thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right. Um, Mr. Yeah. Um, you, you were born in Bushy Estate, was it? Yes. Bushy? Yes. Okay. Can you give us an idea where Bushill is? Um, yes. Yes. And, and, and Spence, you can come in at, at any time. Vanessa? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. Bushill is a. Um, what? Eh? Bushill. You were born in Bushill, right? Bushill. Yeah. Bushill. Yes. But somebody just said I'm born in. My cousin not tell me you're born in. Oh, Brantley. My good friend, my friend Brantley. Uh-huh. He said, You're a walker. Tell people about you. You, you, you're you born a bushel. A granny got you born. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well, tell us about granny let got. Me, let me, go ahead. Let me clear up this a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Please. Yes. Bushel is the name of the estate. If you went to Montpellier, it's just back of Montpellier estate. It's Bushel estate. It was a, an old sugar plantation. And history records that my, our grandmother, was the resident uh, mechanic there. She used to walk around with her tools and adjust this and adjust that at the old sugar mill. Oh. But Granny Gut, Granny Gut was the gut going to the northeast oh of that. It's, uh, it's still there, a big large gut between Bushill Estate and um, and dogwood and that's where most people there was a village there at one time and i like um i've just written in a little um collection of what happened to brown hill as a village it shows where brown hill was comprised of grandy gut and bush hill and Dogwood and several other little villages. Mm-hmm. So um, it's easier to say uh, most people then apparently were born, were living and born in the Grand Gut area because I recall my mother saying that he was born in Grand Gut. And they had to run out of there back in 1924 with the hurricane. So basically, I'm trying to get a hold of the a very interesting part which you, Daddy, um, mentioned to me um, uh, just a few days ago. I, I didn't know that my great grandmother was the first female mechanic. Basically, that's what you're saying. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that is something to be noted, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We need to uh, maybe look into this um, a bit more and, and, and the, find and out and what the, she did. And the old, old, old people who are no longer around, um, uh, what 
I was able to get from a number of them. Everybody knew her as Gang Gang. Gang Gang. Yes. Gang Gang. So, <coughs> so what did she do, Dad? What did she do? What did she fix? What was she? I doing? don't know. She was a mechanic. You have a lot of people who are on here mm. right now with tools, yeah. and they say they can do this and can do that. When you really put them to the test, they can't. <laughs> but um, that's mm. that's what her, her job was. You know, oh. it, it's a posture. You have your tools in your hand, so it makes you look popular. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make it look important. Uh, <laughs> somebody we need for the What was um, Gang Gang's name? I know everybody calls her. Mrs. Mrs. Ella Semper. Ella Semper. Ella Semper. Yeah. Oh, well, we need to get another Ella in the family. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> do what you can do. Yeah. <laughs> Ella. <laughs> I know Daddy always used to say he wanted one of his grandchildren or great grandchildren named Ella. Yeah. He called Ella, but Ella he's Sampa. still waiting. <laughs> yeah. mm. Ella. Okay. Well, well, um, well, um, well. The thing about it, the thing about that, Vanessa, the, the the young ones are listening to, so somebody might pick it up. Yeah. I I bring a greeting here from um Ashley. Ashley Paris Jabang, yeah. He said, hello, Grandpa. Love from Ashley and AJ and our girls. We love you, Grandpa. Sharon is saying, to be 99 years old and could still walk about and be in society is truly a blessing. It is. It is. It is. It is. Donna is saying, thank you, Lord. Adele says, Mr. Roach is strong in mind and body. That's awesome. That is more than awesome. That's a blessing. Yes. Yes. Okay, Jesse. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Yes. Um. But you born in Bushill, and then um you spent your school days in Saint Kitts. Yes. You you were at Tabernacle Village. I lived in Tabernacle. You lived in Tabernacle. Yeah. Um. With My your father was the manager of Bellevue Estate for Mr. Yarwood. Uh huh. Oh. So okay. I grew I grew up part of my time in yes. Tabernacle. Okay. And yeah. um, you know, and what 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 was going to school like um, you know, in Tabernacle in in, in those days. Tabernacle. We had a headmaster, he was very strict. Mm -hmm. And my, when he beating anybody, and my father is passing on his horse, he go right in the school and, 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 and threaten him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Go in the school and threaten him. He said, well, what are you beating these children for? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But um, I had, had some good times in Tabernacle. I, I lived in uh, after school. I ended up my school days, really, in Charlestown Boys School. Uh -huh. And uh, but uh, uh, sad, sad to say, really, I don't know how you the word sad, but <laughs> I wonder where we're pleasant people. Oh. <laughs> 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 and one day I did something, and they had a teacher named uh, Norris Nidbit. Uh -huh. And the headmaster sent him outside to, oh no, it was time to go home. And I said, I gave a stoop, like I said, he keeping us out, keeping us in to give us some extra lessons for examination coming up, mm -hmm. you know. So I said, man, we not got no bloody time for no extra lessons. We, we want to go home. because I'm cattle home with the boat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so he sent out the teacher to hold me, to bring me in, uh -huh. to, be, to, to, to beat me. And um, Basil Prentice, we used to call him Paki. Paki came outside and he said, boy, now it needs to be coming to hold you for carrying inside. I said, let come. <laughs> and I pick up two stone. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> and I went down by the gate. Mm -hmm. And I wheel one crotty head and he ducked back inside. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, years and years ago, I was coming from Aruba because I used to travel a lot. Mm -hmm. I had eight months in. All they got, all they got some, they always chased me out of the country or something. But anyway, I had some, um, now it's a little bit, I had leave the teaching and he went to be a policeman. And coming back from Aruba, I met him in Dominica. Mm -hmm. And he said, who is that, Bertram Roach? I, I, I said, yeah, and he, he said, give me a few minutes. I'm, I'm off duty in a while and we could go down to the barracks to have a drink or two. <laughs> and while we're drinking, <laughs> he said to the police, 
He said, yes, this guy here. Every time I think of him, I think he's in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I think of Bertram Roach, I think he's in prison. Yeah. I had some, I had some good influential friends, really. You know, but um, God is good. God is always there for me. The head man is always there for me. Yes. He's always, always there for me. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, you mentioned um, um, your, your father's connection with um, Bellevue, right? Yeah. Um, Lavington, he had some connection with Lavington Estate as well? Who? Lavington. Lavin I lived Lavin in Lavington for you, a while. You live in Lavington? Yeah. Okay. I lived in Lavington for a while. Okay. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I think I went to Bethel School for... Is it Bethel? Uh -huh. There are other schools somewhere in that yes. area, Sadler's area. Okay. Yeah. And, and you went there? Yeah. I tell you, I live all over. All over, all over, all over. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, um, but, but I like yes. I, I like Saint Vincent, but uh, um, <laughs> we left here to go to Curacao because there were employing people in the day. Like when I reached, I didn't had enough money, <laughs> so they told me I can't. They can't let me in, in the in the island in St. Vincent. Oh, I said, oh, I said, all right. So I used to, um, <coughs> at night, I used to come ashore, mm -hmm. sneak ashore, and sleep in the, um, what do they call them houses there? Like Ted Hobson House now. What do they call it? Guest house. Yeah. I used to sleep in an old blanket on two bench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Buck, Buck, Buck Brown brought them for me. Buck, yeah, brought them for me. Buck was Sukumba Brown's father. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And uh, I had some hard times, but people were all really good to me, though. And uh, I, t I told the police them, okay, I sent for the money. And um, you, you know about trust me. No, I, I sent for some money, and when they come, I will... You. So they held my passport that I couldn't leave. So right now I know my passport still at St. Vincent. Because <laughs> <laughs> I left St. Vincent and went to Beckway. Uh -huh. Yeah, I went to Beckway. And from Beckway I got a boat they called the Psychorama mm -hmm. and head for Trinidad. Oh, okay. wow. mm -hmm. And I spent five glorious years in Trinidad. I love Trinidad. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Yes, I love Trinidad. Well, tell us about those glorious years. I mean, what hey. What about Trinidad that was so excited? Maybe you sing yes, yes. Maybe you sing Calypso yes, yes. yes. the steel band. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If I do what? Y yes. What did you like about Trinidad? Uh, those years were special for you, right? The women. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, you are, you are, you know, you are very honest. You are very honest. <laughs> 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 They sneak in the house, <laughs> they sneak in the, the place there at night mm -hmm. and spend some time with me. Oh, and, uh, then one, one will sneak back. When they're all gone, one will sneak back uh -huh. to keep me company. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> all right, yeah. good. Yeah. All right. You were involved yeah. in carnival yeah. as well, weren't you, Dad? Eh? You were involved with the carnival. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. so after after the war, I got the mark here. Uh -huh. After the end of um, the Second World War, of course. Um, they were, we were jumping up and what. And I, I was the flagman for St. James. I lived in St. James in Trinidad. I lived in Woodbrook, I lived in Kandahar, and I lived in St. James. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, well, St. James was a bit on the, on the wicked side, but I did love it. What's <laughs> a flagman, Dad? Eh? What is a flagman? You in front with the, with the flag. Mm -hmm. You in front. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and where uh, did you yes. work? Eh? Where did you work? Where were you stationed? I, I used to work in Shakaramas. I worked in Shakaramas with the Americans. Oh, okay. yeah. At the naval base? Yeah, at the naval base. I worked at the naval base in Shakaramas. Okay. Yeah. And then I left there and I went to Dock Site. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's what the, I went do, when Shakaramas closed down. I went and I worked with the American Army. And what was it like working yeah. in the America with the American Army? Because you always told us you went to war, but... My loving mother told me you did not. You were not fighting. <laughs> and to, to stop making yourself look like a hero. <laughs> My mother was very blunt. <laughs> okay. she, she would say anything more. <laughs> so did you enjoy working on the, on the um, 
I didn't I did, I did, I did enjoy, I didn't like working on, on, in Shagaramas. Mm -hmm. That's where the American Navy Navy, was. Navy and the Marines. Navy, yeah. They were clearing down the jungle. Uh -huh. They were clearing the jungle to, to prepare for the jungle war in Vietnam. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And I, that's, where, that's where I work. And, but after they closed down, I went and uh, I don't know if it was a transfer or what, but I went a farmer said me, Dockside in Port of Spain. Uh -huh. And when I read Dockside now as uh, uh, illegally, so to say. <laughs> I um I read when I read in Dockside, I took that boat and I went to Trinidad. I went to Trinidad. Oh yeah, in Trinidad now, after Saikarama, going ashore. When I go off the dock, there were two U.S. Marines here and two local police here, and the gate only that big. And I had no passport, I had nothing. And I look for it. He said, um, well, um, we can't get you here. Where, where is your uh, passport and whatnot? So I went back board the board, and I told them what happened. I told them, you know something, I don't like Trinidad. <laughs> I don't like Trinidad. <laughs> You see, I recall they, they, they would let me in. <laughs> so the fellows, the fellows said, uh, Nevis, they all call me just Nevis, had no make a wear hat alone. <laughs> and he gave me the bag with some laundry and a sailor's pass. Oh. And I went and I showed them by the gate. And they just, they go, go on, you're all right. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. Smart, smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> how old were you, yes, Dad? Do you eh? How old were you? Yeah, yes. It seems like you were. I was about young. 19. Yeah. About 19. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And you had to do what you had to do. Yes, yes. To survive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, survival. Survival. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> were, the, were, were the other divisions um, eh? at, at, at the naval base with you? Religion. Divisions, yeah. divisions. Uh, yes, I'm on a division. You were on a division? My father is an Irish man. Mm. Yeah, okay. Other yeah. Nivisians. Yeah, other Nivisians. Work in people work in people, yeah. Anybody other else from Nivis was with you? Who? In Trinidad. In Trinidad. Who was with me? Anyone from Nevis? Yes. I don't understand. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, okay. the guy Lawrence mm -hmm. from, from Clark Road. Uh -huh. Oh, Richard? Yes. Uh, oh, Richard Lawrence. Yeah, yes. he, so he, he lived in Trinidad. Yeah. He was the, so he was the only one from Nevis that you knew yes, in yes, Trinidad? Yes, 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 okay. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. What I recall is that um, when Bertram came back from Trinidad, um, he came back with a swagger, if you know <laughs> what I mean. And he was always talking about Trinidad and Trinidadians and so on. But he was he was off to every fit. He thought he, and he still thinks. That he's one of the best dancers around. Yes. <laughs> what, what I, I was between Sink is Nevis. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So he he was always involved in that. But maybe to me, the impact that he had on me, after all he's ten years older than me, he um brought with him some boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Now this little puny guy there, say he's a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> but he brought these gloves and we had some space in the back of our yard on Main Street. And that's where we set up a boxing ring. <laughs> and, um, under the breadfruit tree. Under the breadfruit tree. <laughs> and there were lots of guys who, who met their Waterloo there. And lots of guys got knocked out there and so on. Yeah. But it was... It was it was a good start, and um, uh, I could recall some great days through boxing, including, and maybe maybe the most important was um, in 1949. This was a little before your all time. Um, yes, yes. Maybe there was. Uh, there was, at the time, in Charlestown, what was known as the Charlestown um, Youth Club. Or, I yeah. m maybe the name is wrong. But we had some youngsters who 
would come and train to be boxers and in, in different different art forms. And there was a guy from Somerset. An, Somerset. Yes, from Antigua, I think he was. His name was Somerset. And he joined the club and he used to practice as a boxer. Mm -hmm. And there was a, one of the Barrett's, everybody knows the Barrett's from, uh, from Craddock Road, who were, um, who were into, what do they do? Um, the, the Barrett's do. You? Not, not you. I think it was Ever. Anyway. Ever. They, they, um, they matched up one of their guys against, and the night of the boxing, I, I recall these things because you put one thing against the other. The, the night when we, we, the time came up, there was this training for boxing, the Craddock Road team against the Charlestown team, but where do, where do, you, where do you have this fight? And the Charlestown Secondary School had just been completed. That was the first function they ever had there. Mm -hmm. And they, we, we set up a stage. The stage was set up. Yeah. The ring was set up on the stage of the CSS. And so the audience was down below. And as the crowd went on and so on, and all the cheers and everything else, and all sorts of things happened that night. God. And they broke up a lot of cheers. Well, so, so, had, so, so whatever whatever monies whatever monies um yeah. they made from the gate, they had to give it all back to the secondary school to repair their brand new furniture. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> my but, dad um, well, yes. my dad had five girls and one boy. And um all the girls, my sisters, all know about boxing because um, back in the day, in the 60s, I'm the eldest, so I remember um, things in a bit more detail. There was a famous boxer at the time, a young boxer called, then called Cassius Clay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's now Muhammad Ali. And Daddy had these, these five little girls. And he had no one else to channel his um, his enthusiasm to. Um, I think it was four girls at the time. I don't think my brother and my younger sister were born yet. So there was four, four girls, three or four girls. And we used to watch Muhammad Ali boxing on this black and white TV. And I remember Daddy coming up to our bedroom and saying, get up wake up because you know the time difference and this big fight was happening and we were little girls and i remember um, being very sleepy coming down the stairs rubbing my eyes in my nighty and daddy would place us in front of the tv and make us watch muhammad ali ah. <laughs> cassius clay at the time um box and he would be telling us about the left hook and all these different boxing the jab, terms, the, jab, yeah. the jabs and everything. And I personally grew up knowing what they meant. Yes. And a lot of people wouldn't really associate me with like liking boxing, but actually I do. <laughs> so, so perhaps, perhaps you could have turned out to be a boxing coach. <laughs> I do like boxing. Okay. I do follow it. You know, when I see boxing on the TV because of Daddy. I sit there watching it, and I know my friends, my female friends, just look at me and go, what are you watching? <laughs> but it's because when I was a child, Daddy would make us watch the, yeah. you know, watch the boxing. So I went that's and why. I, I trained some fellas in Brown Hill. Yes. The other day I went to Brown Hill, and I actually said, the fellow said, do you not remember, do you not remember me? I said, no, who is your to be? He said, you used to come up a, a, a brown, you say, you teach people a box. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I, 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 because of daddy, follow Muhammad Ali. I yeah. have a lot of respect for him. Hey, you remember your mother went to see Muhammad Ali and he yes, get, he get, yes. she get damaged? Oh, okay. I didn't know she When the glass that. thing broke down in Stratford. Oh, oh yes. You yes. remember that? Yes. I think she, she had, had, oh, she had you with her. Yeah. Okay. 
Vanessa, she had you with her at the time. Yeah, when Debbie, the thing broke down. Debbie, right? with her, my youngest sister. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, and mm-hmm. Muhammad Ali came to our town, is what I'm saying, to okay. open, to open, to open, open the center. Oh, okay. wow. I didn't go. Yeah. Okay. I but Sil- Sylvia went. Yeah. He's big in our lives. Yes, too much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom just had to go and see him because oh, yeah. he's always in our house on TV. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say something. Okay. I thought you were going to say something. Um, you know? Me? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let, okay. Let, let me share some comments, some more comments. Um, other family members keep um, weighing in. Um, this one is from Carlisle Paris. It says, sending Jallo from New, Zer- New Jersey. Tell Uncle Bertram to talk about the harmonica and his artistic side from Ras Ujima. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sharon Roach says, Sharon says, Daddy got some stories, mm-hmm. and um, um, that's Sharon Watch. And then Sharon Pemberton said, The older generation have plenty stories to tell. I remember I used to love to hear my grandmother and great grandmother tell, tell these. Yes. yes, Carlisle Paris is saying again, Big up to Uncle Spencer for his incredible experience and knowledge. Mm-hmm. Russell Jima, yeah. even Chance says, Good morning, my 2020 family. Good morning. Dad, sending love to my family, watching with my son and grandchildren. Jetty Taylor says, Mr. Roach like them. Oh, Mr. Roach like them, Trini. Ashley Paris Chabag says, Grandpa, your, your great grands are listening. So uh, she t- uh, uh, she's trying to tell you, be careful what you say. <laughs> <laughs> be careful of the lessons you pass on. Anyway, all it just. Um, Jet Taylor says, Mr. Roach, me love, oh, me love them too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Iona, Iona says, good morning all. Yes, good morning, Iona. Sandra Willett says, neighbor, don't tell them young <laughs> boys are, are like Jetty Taylor. <laughs> them you Tory. They're looking ideas how to get the, the women. <laughs> I, I guess they have to to yeah, yeah. to, to, to learn yeah, from the experience. Yeah, to yeah, learn. Yes, to learn from the other ones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Um, that's where the example is, I guess. Mm-hmm. Sharon Wood says, "Thank you, Uncle Spencer, Alicia Price, sending love from his peer daughter in Leeds, Alicia." Alicia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Iona Do says, Mr. Roach is still looking good for his age. He's always with that witty side. Okay. Uh-huh. And Iona says, his memory is intact as well. Yes, very nice. Yes, yes, very good. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, someone ta- asked about um, you know, your artistic talent with the yeah. harmonica. harmonica. Mm-hmm. Um, you are self taught, um, really, harmonica is concerned, Mr. Roach? Yes, sir. Self taught? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, my, my, um, my aunt sent it for me from. But I got this one here in England. Oh, okay. But the first harmonica I had was from uh, um, America. Right. Which aunt was that, Daddy? Aunt, uh, aunt Frida. Aunt, 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 aunt Frida, Frida and Dorothy. Dorothy. Some one of them. So yeah. I said, uh, uh, for Christmas, I want a cowboy suit and a moat argon. I want a moat argon and I want a cowboy suit. Yes. And they send them for me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember you t- saying that your first troop in Nevis, I think, was Cowboys. Yeah. And I don't know if you all remember Brother Ansling. Yeah. Oh, sure. Sure. Brother Ansling yeah, was good in friend. that troop as a little boy. Uh-huh. And somewhere along the line, I have a memory of a photograph, a black and white photograph with that troop. And I don't know where I saw it. And there was a little boy in it. But I never thought it, it was Brother Ansling. But yeah. later down, Daddy told me that yes. it was Brother Anselm. Oh, wow. He was in that troop. And Brother Anthony himself told me that, mm-hmm. um, that he was him. to be in Daddy's troops at, at oh. Christmas time. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Yeah, so brother. He mm-hmm. had a big influence on on the carnival troops here. Yeah, in okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Brother, Brother Anthony. Yeah. You remember some of the troops, yeah. Dad? Yes. They are. All right, we have some um, greetings here from um, Abdul Ahmed. Um, can you please say good morning to Daddy and Uncle Bert from uh, us and ask them to talk about the transition of the island from the good old day to now and where they see the island developing in the future. Okay. Right. Will, 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 will you 
we'll come to that. Yes. <laughs> um, but um, yes, Mr. Bert, I yeah. think um, you know, someone posted something there about the harmonica. I think they might want to hear you. Maybe it's time for you to give us another piece on the harmonica. Ah. Yes. Yeah, anything of your choice. Yes. You know you're gonna play one of those old time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him first. Oh, oh Danny boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my favorite. My favorite. Yes, yeah. your favorite. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Roach, you had a stint at the Nevis University de Department? The Electricity Department? Yes. Yeah. yeah. How, how long did you um, serve the Electricity there? Department? Yes. How long did I serve? Um, Wait. Well, you think, know, you yeah. think it's... What do you want to say? Elect oh, 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 yeah, in Nevis. In Nevis, in Nevis, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm, I got my training in Sankits. Okay. And they sent me over mm -hmm. to... Be in charge of the Drill. Navy set up. Oh, okay, good. Along with Liber, Sticky. Sticky yes, Liber, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you remember. Uh, but man. you came first, sir, uh -huh. to set up. When I came to set up the office. You were in the Treasury. I was in, I went from the Treasury to the Electricity Department in St. Kitts mm -hmm. for training um, with all the different systems. And when the time was right, they transferred me to Nevis. And it was at that time that they transferred the transfer to Nevis because yeah. they started to put in poles and poles, uh, set up the cross arms set and the insulators. Yes. Set up the new and power the, um, station. Yeah. Yeah, I was the first here. Yeah. Okay. So you were the pioneers then? Yeah. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. Very good. They yes. the, only wow. guy, the only other okay. guy around yes. who I recall might know. But something is um but is not around on oh. Gandhi. Oh, oh yes. Gandhi. Do you feel you know Gandhi? Gandhi yes, yes, yes. With a taxi. We what is what is his Philip, name? Philip Gandhi Philip. Philip, yeah, yeah. yeah. Philip from Bad Village. Yes, uh -huh. yes from Bad Village. We employ yeah. him to yeah. uh, he was he's uh, maybe the only other guy around now uh -huh. from that era. Was Brother Philip there too as well? Hey. Brother Philip or he came after? I think Brother Philip Came after. He came, he came after. No, Brother Philip was the first uh -huh. that I have because we get him to help us shift the poles to put on the cross arms and the insulators uh -huh. and the, you know, the what's not. And who switched on the lights, Dad? Eh? Who switched on the lights? The, which, how? Who pulled the first switch to give oh. the electricity? Oh! And, and, you and Mr. Liburd? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I think, I think we put we hand on each other. Yeah. I think so. All right. Yeah. Well, I yeah. think we're going to have for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sticky. Yes. Very proud okay. of you, Dad. Yes. Sticky. Okay. You gave me this light. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, ah. Ah. Gave me the light. Uh -huh. The man with the two in the tree. Yes. Okay. He's grown tired oh. of hearing others tell Caribbean stories. Mm -hmm. He knew oh so well. Each bestseller, each bestseller, 
by someone and was was sure to tell the tales from his childhood. Roach had grown up on a sugar plantation, absorbing many from the laborers and absorbing, observing the scandals of the day. Close to the century later, his novel, Only God Can Make a Tree, it had either had to put down 134 pages, which had been receiving great reviews. Refreshingly, instead of the harsh historical historical facts you might associate with a novel based in the era of sugar and and, and war and wars and was it's in an and an, an embarrassing and enthralling love story with a twist <laughs> yes. right. and, and this is me here with Daniel and my friend and that, that, that may here. But yeah. somebody went for a cruise and they get the, they get they get this book here. Yes. And the cruise? They are the they are the cruise ships them now this this, this, this thing here. Mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing yes. about this. Oh, okay. I didn't know nothing yeah, about um it. but you know Mr Mr. Roach, you mentioned your book, right? Yeah. Um and you know, we know that you're a published author and we are very proud of you. Yeah. Okay, and you yeah. mentioned your book, yes, okay. Yeah. Only yeah. Only God can make a tree, and it yeah. makes makes very very good reading. You see, the, yes. the, the, the story yes. of the book on the back here, as you know, uh -huh. Adrian is the son of a black Caribbean woman uh -huh. and an Irish immigrant, Irish immigrant father, and is blessed with the pale skin, the pale skin, and European features to allow him social mobility in the, in the rigidly theoretical society of 20th century Caribbean life. He falls in love, but is offered the opportunity to improve his social standing, and thus the rest of his life, if he can suppress his heart desire and de decide with his head. Will he choose Julia, the only woman he has ever really loved, and settle for being an overseer, or will he opt for the plantation owner's daughter, Alice Mills, who could provide him with the social standing he has always dream of. Yeah. Okay. Consequences of his eventual decision are weighty and far reaching, affecting not only Adrian but all those around him, showing the uh, and showing show, showing the harsh realities of life in the in the earthly in this earthly paradise set on the idyllic islands of St. Kitts and Nevis. This gripping saga is the true story of a family of mixed race and mixed fortunes. Wow, very interesting, yes. yes. Only God can and as you said, you know, it, it makes very interesting um very interesting read. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if Vanessa. Um, yes. Um, I guess you were helping your dad. You know, putting the information, put the information together um, for the for this and, book? Yeah, for the book. Yes. No, 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 no by no, himself. No, 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 wow, he did a great as job. Long, <coughs> yes. As long as I've, yes, I can remember. Daddy's been writing this book, uh -huh. <laughs> and we always used to see him with a bunch of oh, yeah. papers yeah. and his briefcase and his thing, and and he used to tell us he's writing a book, and we used to laugh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Roll our eyes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I
You know what Ashley told me? You know, some, some of you right in here. But Ashley, okay. Ashley, Ashley said, but Dad, well, Grandpa, you ain't got nothing there about, about Jesus. Or about, uh, we don't even mention nothing religion about religious. I said, so I had to change a part of the writing and put in something religious. Yeah, because she is a religious person. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, and then one day, <clears throat> I just heard him say, well, I finished my book. Uh, <laughs> and I went, yeah. what book? Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> I finished my book. Oh, yes. And um, one thing I know, it's going to be published. Uh, <laughs> and I still blew him off. You know, I still thought, oh, God, here we go. Well, I'll finish the next one, you know. Oh, yeah. And then well, someone this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. contacted me mm -hmm. and said, I have your father's book here that I'm editing. And um, what I said, I beg your pardon? Yeah. I said, what book? Said, yeah. Yes, his book. I'm, and then that's when I came in and knew that this thing was going to, was to happen. Um, yeah. Mary Kelly. Um, a dear friend of, of daddy's and myself she was you know putting it together yes. um, for him you know doing the finishing touches and um, also Claire Yarwood she oh, yeah. was also yeah. involved in, yes. in you know putting it together mm -hmm. and they told me and I went are you kidding me yeah. and then <clears throat> one day this big box came and daddy opened it and I saw this I just went, oh, yeah. I couldn't believe, I couldn't yes, believe, yes. so I read it immediately, yes. and it, it is gripping, it is gripping. you it do is, want to is, know what, what's going to happen yes, here, yes, it is and gripping. he is on to his second book, oh wow, so I um, yeah. I finished finish it, yeah, he's finished that now, so, Onwards and upwards. Right. Um, we, oh, we are the book. Um, that's the title of it. It's on Amazon, isn't it, Dad? It's on yeah, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. Amazon. Yes, okay. it's, it's on Amazon. Okay. What's, the, what's the title of it? What's the title of it? That's the name the of the book. That's the way things are now. This, this. Them, them, mostly everything is online, as you know. Right. Yeah. You know. Uh -huh. Um, he did have some physical books, yes. and he used to go to Four Seasons, Nisbet Plantation, different hotels, mm -hmm. and they were in um a few gift shops here on the. Yes. Well, there's not many bookshops on the Nisbet, sadly. Yes. But um, it was in a bookshop here, and yeah. you know, and different people yeah. would would. The one guy bought five, five of them. Yeah, eight. different people uh, he yes. would meet when in, he had the. At four seasons, yes. somebody bought five. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I th I I think I recall seeing it at the at the museum, the museum oh, yeah. gift shop. Oh yeah. yes. 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 What's the title of the book? Yes. The this first one is um, only oh, God can make a tree. All oh, right. Chapter mm -hmm. one. Oh, it, it just be there. Okay. I think oh, it you, and, okay. and it used to be okay. be there as well. So okay. um, he only has a few left, and we're in the middle of trying to get some reprints, but it is complicated. Yes. <laughs> only God can make a tree is a very interesting title, um, Mr. Roach. Yes, only. Yes, Miss. Yes, okay. but oh, yeah, 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 yes. Only God can make a tree. That's the name of the book. Um, what is behind it? You know, you're thinking though, when you. Caption the book that uh, no, only no. God can make a tree. Very interesting. Well, because I had that, that I always got a streak of religion in me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, okay. I, I, and the title, the, the title now would, would uh, attract a lot of people. Although, although the, the, the title of the book had nothing to do with the, the uh, yeah, Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh -huh. And it, it put off some people who are non religious. So, my men are that. You know what I mean? Okay, so you mix it. Yeah. You mix it. But, uh, yes. Mm. Because it is yes. tr true, only God could make a tree. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. And yeah. there was a part in the story where um, some, some, some tree was destroyed, some huge tree was destroyed, yeah. um, and then uh, I guess the owner was missing it so much, and then somebody told him, well, God will cause it to grow again. Yeah. Because only God can make a tree. A tree. Yeah. So yeah. It, that okay. just came out. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. And the thing yeah. is, yes. I Plain. have been visited St. Kitts, mm -hmm. my sister Carmen and I, and then later all of us went, and we did a tour to find mm -hmm. where Daddy lived and where this tree is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Remember, yeah. Dad? Yeah, the, the yes. cedar tree. And I said, Daddy, is the tree still there? He said, no, it was cut down. Oh. And we went and we found this estate that 
that we think that's where where daddy was at Lavington. Yeah. Um, people were with me to, to, to guide me and my sister at the time. Um, but the second time we went, I went. I, I, in fact, I've been three times because I went yeah. with um, with my sister Yasmin as well. I went with my first sister Carmen. Then all of us, all six children, went together mm -hmm. to um, to find it. And then um, the third time I visited Lavington, um, I was with my other sister Yasmin, mm -hmm. and we did see a tree that was had a stump. Oh, yeah, okay. and it was things sticking out, and yes. we always wondered if that oh. was the chances, tree. Are, chances are, chances. Ch what ch are the chances? chances we don't chances know. Yes, we yes. did see the stump, yes. and we told Daddy, and he said, "Well, if it was a cedar tree, yes. it probably was, uh -huh. but yeah. it was cut down." Right. Mm. Okay. You know, and the, the book contains some very interesting um, um, love stories. I suspect that one of those love, love stories had something to do with you, um, Mr. Roach. Yeah, uh, no, no, none at all. Okay, um, yeah. but you know, you mentioned some very interesting elements, though. Zombie dance. What? What was that? Zombie dance. Zombie dance. Zomb zombie. zombie. Zombie dance. You, you can, re you can recall what is that about? No. Okay, and then you mentioned the Easter Monday. Easter Monday. Easter Monday celebration and the um and um, the on Good Friday. You're right, and the Sunday school outing. Yeah. Oh yes. Yes. Okay. Was that at Brimstone Hill? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What was that like, uh, Mr. 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 Roach? What? The Sunday school outings on Easter Monday. Easter Monday. Yes. We. I remember Good Fridays. You remember Good Friday? Yeah. Okay. Tell us about Good Friday. I think Good Friday is when I met Sylvia. Uh, on the oh, beach. It was, was really a Good Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a Good Friday. It was a Good Friday. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Good Friday. Oh, 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 <laughs> he said, you could talk, but I don't like people touch me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and yeah. then, and then show that in the face all the time. Yeah. So yeah. I thought, one time you tell me to touch you. <laughs> you don't like people touch you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. She was something else, boy. Bloody hell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so you got married, um, in Nevis, right? Uh, yes, he and, is. All right, and yeah. then... Um, Fig tree. Fig tree. Yeah. Fig tree St. John's. I, wa okay. I was christened in Christ and married in... in, in Fig tree church. Fig tree church. Yeah. Oh, okay. St. John's. All right. St. John's, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So you love many girls, because but then eventually you settle with one, with one queen, right? Yeah. Right. Good. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, But, you know, you, you went to England. At what point did you go to England? I went to England from St. Vincent. 1942. You went from Nevis. 42. You went from Nevis. From Nevis. You went from Nevis. In 1955. Yeah, you went to England. Yeah. Okay. But look, but I went. Uh, I went to Ten Vincent before, wasn't it? Yes, you did. Yeah. Well, we're talking about when you went, you went to, to England. England. Oh. Yes. Uh, mm. Okay. Yeah. Um. Um. Well, maybe Spence can help you here. Um. The name of the boat that would have been taking persons to England at that time. Can you recall the boat that would have been taking you? To where? To England. To um, England? Yes. Sorrento. No. Sorrento. Because I went on it. Oh, you went on it? Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And what was the journey like? It, it left where? Which port it left? Um, yeah. It left from Barbados. From Barbados? Yes. Yeah. Oh, because you had to make it. Right. We, went, we went, you go yes. at that time, and I found out why. It's because it was the cheapest way to go at the time. Yeah. Wasn't mm -hmm. it, Dad? Why? Yeah. Going to England on the boat, it was cheaper. Yes, yes, it was yeah. cheaper. So yeah. they went the long way round. They yeah. went from Nevis to St. Kitts, St. Kitts to Barbados. Yes. They picked up the Sorrento in Barbados and sailed to G Genoa in Italy. Uh -huh. And from Italy, they took the train to Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. Same and road. Some went to Madrid. Yeah. Daddy may have picked that, that part there, it varies. Yeah. I don't know where Daddy went, um, but for me, I went to Barcelona, 
and then to Paris, yes. and well. then from Paris to Calais, from Calais right. took the boat over to Southampton, and that's how yeah. we got to England, wow. and that's how my parents sort of got to England. Yeah. Maybe a slight different in Spain, because some yeah. say in Barcelona, yeah. some are saying Madrid, you know. Oh. Actually, it's, it was very interesting because they had different boats um, yeah. during the run. And that same year that the Bajram went to England, I also went to England a little later mm -hmm. um, on a, a sort of scholarship thing from government. Mm -hmm. And I went from Nevis to Antigua and straight across the Atlantic to um to to to, to, to America? To, to, no, no, no. Mm, no. Straight across to to England to oh. well to to Europe. Where did I go to? Um Spain? Spain. Portugal. 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 Oh, wow. We went to Portugal. Sorry, Columbus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> went from to Portugal and uh, from Portugal we went down to Southampton yes. but it was a very interesting tour yes. it was a 14 day cruise wow. 14 days I spent some time in Portugal with, with Michael Thomas okay. mm -hmm. yeah okay and when is the whole were you when you would have been traveling to England seven seven years yeah. Yeah, and oh, okay. I remember yeah. every step of the way. Wow. wow. I was dying to see my father and my mother. Uh -huh. wow. You know, I didn't miss my mother as much as my father because I had my grandmother, and grandmothers tend to take the place. If, you yes. know, so I found out later the reason I didn't miss my mommy as much mm -hmm. was because she was. I had my grandmother, right. but then I I was so longing to see <laughs> yes, yeah. to see daddy, and I didn't leave him out. Yeah. I didn't let him out of my sight the first few months. <laughs> <laughs> I got okay. there everywhere he went. I followed him, make sure that you know he's uh, not going to get rid of get rid of me. I was there for good. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. it was okay. a lovely reunion. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. And 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 what was it like, the uh, Mr. Roach? Um, you know your, you know your first few days in England. Um, hmm? Was it what you expected? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no? Okay. <laughs> but, um, I, I, actually, I had to bust a bad word on. I went for a job uh -huh. in the employment place. Don't burst it on the radio. And this one, he, the guy turned to one of his mates and said, this one here, say he is an electrician. Mm -hmm. I said, who, who are you referring to this one? I said, give me, me this in book. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have a recommendation. Yes, yes. From Mr. Mills, a white man, uh -huh. Mr. Mills, mm -hmm. and uh, I walk with it, of course. Mm -hmm. And when I showed him, I said, "This is my recommendation. You, you could read it." And he said, "This one here says it." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "I said, give me a film book." <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then that was that. Eh? Um, yeah, but what was your first job um, in, in England, though? My first job was. Were you on the buses, Dad? Yeah. Oh yeah, I was. I was a conductor. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the yeah. devil talk about it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. I was on the uh, double record man. Yeah. And the reason he took that and job then, is yeah. because he was but cold that, and he, his yeah. uniform was a thick coat. Oh, yeah, yeah, God. Yeah. And uh, and um. To go upstairs to collect the money and whatnot. We sit down on the side bench, gym. We never even walk up right there in this weather. Cold. Uh -huh. And so I just sit down there. Please, please. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. England was an interesting place, really. Yeah. After, you get, after you get used to it. After you get used to England. It's a nice place, you know. Oh, yes. England is nice, you know. It's a nice place. Yeah. In spite England of. It's a nice place. Uh -huh. Yeah. I miss I miss England. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love, I love I love England. Okay. I love England. Okay. When is the school days? I mean, hmm? you are with your dad. You're going to school. What is school like for you? Me yes. in England. Y yes. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Very interesting because, well, not interesting as a child. I look back on it as yeah. a, as being interesting, but at the time it was normal for me. Mm -hmm. Um, 
the education in Nevis was like a year or two ahead. So I was considered a very bright child. Okay. But my mother made it plain to them, no, she isn't. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was a very blunt woman. I said she's when they ask you, she's an ABC. average child, yes. but um, coming from Nevis, education here. Yeah. I was. I remember the first time they didn't know that I knew. Yeah, I remember alphabet. the teacher saying, yeah, the teacher yeah, saying, go and teach Vanessa her alphabet. And <laughs> I thought, oh, well, this is new. You know, alphabet, I've never heard of that, mm -hmm. so let me go and learn what it is. Mm -hmm. So when I was taken in the corner by one of the, 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 the pupils there in the, in the library corner, she brought out this big book that said A, B, C. So I'm still waiting to see the alphabet. And then I said, oh, sh she's talking about my ABCs. So I said it, and then she went back to the teacher and told the teacher, but Vanessa knows her alphabet. She just said it. <laughs> the thing is here, which happened to a lot of uh, my generation, words were different. I ne that was The word alphabet was not in my vocabulary. Yes. So when they asked me if I knew my alphabet, I said no. <laughs> you know, yes. But when they found out that I did, and I could read, because I was reading fluently when I got there, and they were just learning to read. So the headmaster immediately called my mother to ask if I was a genius. Ah. <laughs> and, okay. and my mother said very plainly no. <laughs> oh. I was not a genius. Yeah. I was the only black girl in the school. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but you felt comfortable, nonetheless. Very. Very comfortable. Very. No racial tension. No. 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 Children, no. yes. Not uh, children are different. Not children, we they are always innocent, right? Children. We are the only black family in that area. Oh, wow. Only black family. Mm. And they treat us like royalty. Oh, wow. Okay, very yep. good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I got a prejudice in England. I mean, yes, yes. Yeah, they do. There is a lot of racism. Oh, but yeah. not we. We never had no problem. Mm. Okay, and how, how long? Yes, go ahead, Shafter. Go ahead. Okay. Um, how long did you stay in England, uh, Mr. Roach? Uh, four, 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 what? four years. What? what is this? <laughs> we really love England. Yeah. Wow. No wonder he misses it. Four years. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Four years. Okay. All right. Mm. Wow. That's wonderful. Well, really. Really. Yes. That's really. Uh, okay. And Love then, um, you. and then you came back home, and yeah. then, and then the the children remained in England, right? No. They no. Came, they came Everybody with came. Him. And okay, then everybody? he went back, and then he, he like, when they retired, uh, you, uh, they anybody, came back on their uh, own. Anybody here remember this trip? This trip? When I came back one time, yes. I had a club, me and Granger. Yeah, the <laughs> Monster. <laughs> we had a, we had. Yeah. Yeah. The Monster. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was yes. a popular yeah. night, night spot, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sunset yes. Strip? Yeah, Sunset yeah, yeah, yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. And then you, where you, you came back to, to Nevis. Uh, how was it moving back to Nevis, though? Um, well, it was always my wish. Uh -huh, to come back home. When okay. I become pensionable, I want to come home. I want to come to Nevis. Okay. But at one time, I didn't like Nevis. That's where I left. Uh -huh. Even had a in charge of deportation or anything here. Uh -huh. I, I gave up that job. I, I had a good job here. I left a good job and went to England. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah. Very good. OK. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and Mr. Roach, you know, when you came back home, I mean, remember at Culture Rama time? Yeah. You know, we, we used to see you dressed up and so on. Oh. Sometimes you have your hat with your feather, um, you know. Uh, yeah. um, you know, very close to the culture. The, yeah. the, um, yes. the like, a, like a real uh, grandmaster. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, uh -huh. but I had the, um, the that Mexican, the Mexican hat. The Mexican hat. A sombrero. Right. Uh, I, went to, I, I went to Mexico. Yes. And I got on a Debbie, on a Sherry. So he said, Dad, and this poncho, yeah. Dad, this is just so to for culture. Okay, very good. Um, you know, for, and when yeah. I, when I, wherever I go, Leicester, Birmingham, all over. Mm -hmm. This nice broad some girl. I still have it. Mm -hmm. And and uh, the poncho, yes. the poncho and what's the name? They, they in the room, they, they in, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Yeah, that's really an outside idea. That's rain. Yes. Wonderful rain. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. yes. Praise um, the Lord. You know, um, yes, Mr. Roach, you know, you and um, Spence, you have remained very, very close. Always. Yes, um, Spence, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what have you learned from you know, older brother? <laughs> Um, any tricks that um, you know? Oh, no. I mean, oh, that's right. <laughs> Please don't go there. Be careful what you ask. Yeah, no, right? Because <laughs> you know whatever you ask, Mr. Hall is going to tell you. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. You learn a lot of tricks, I'm sure. Yeah. He, has point, he has pointed me in certain directions. Yes. I haven't always followed them. Mm. But um, I've learned a lot of good things. <laughs> and some not Tricks. so good. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that between yourselves, yeah, yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> As Ashley said, the yeah. great grandchildren are listening. Yes. Let me see what let me see what other comments we have here, though. Um, I think we have some dating back um, to the um, the second harmonica piece. Yeah, wow. We got the first comment here says, "Wow, he is good," and that was responding to. The, the, the rendition. Um, Abdul Karim Ahmed also responded to that and says, wonderful, wonderful. Morning and, to you, Abdul. And Sharon Roach, yes, commented self-taught, and that was for the harmonica. Iona Dio says, wow, nice and clean. He has good energy too. Yeah, I mean, to blow through a whole song like that, I mean, you have to got good lungs. Yes. Adel, Adel says, wonderful. And Sharon says, those words are coming from that harmonica as clear as day. Wow, he's really, really great. And Jetty Taylor says, man, he need more shows. We need more shows like this, a conversation with a legend. We have two legends in here today. Mm -hmm. you know, so, mm -hmm. um, Silly in Tobias says, wow, that was beautiful. I did enjoy it. Happy birthday again. Strong voice. Edison Cose is in saying good morning, and Iona says we probably need to rehire him <laughs> so that our lives can be kept up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> That's a good one. Somebody yes. said they need to hire you back at the electric station. So the, oh, the, the current can stay on. Because the electric keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> Jam, Jam Forbes says, Jennifer Forbes saying good morning to all. It was just recently my uncle, Gito Brown, who lives in the Bronx, was talking about his friend, Mr. Roach. Yes. Well, what a wonderful piece he played so well. Thank you, Mr. Roach. I love it. That one's sweet, me, sir. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Okay, um, we probably uh, Adele says for real. Okay, we probably can train them so they can take him uh, as a consultant that is with the electricity. Sandra really says, saying special morning to my beautiful and loving cousin Cornell Brown, who is watching and listening from Texas. Love you, cuz yeah. Joyce Jeffers says. Okay, um, Joyce Jeff was saying, Mr. Manners, I think he was saying good morning. He said, hi to, say hi to Vanessa Paris. Long time no see. She looking well. Say hi to Ren for me also. Great show. Yes, good morning to you, Joyce. And, you know, they, they, morning, they, they get Joyce. it. Yes. Uh, Iona says, oh, nice. Just like my father, he's, re he's reading without glasses. Wow. Good eyesight at that age. God be praised. Amen. What happens to us? the younger generation in glasses, <laughs> LOL. And then there's Amity Stanley. Amity Stanley says, good day everyone listening from New York. Love hearing Mr. Roach's stories. That harmonica sounds very good. And Sharon Roach again says, oh, oh she, was, she commented on the, co the, the, I lost it, the, the title of the book, Only God Can Make a Tree. Oh, and Carl Manners is in with his piece. He says, good morning, good folks. Good old days, folks. Two illustrious gents there. I dare say we're all fortunate to have them. Mr. Roach, I was fortunate enough to witness one of your homecomings when you returned from England with your family in the early 70s and lived... Jump for me. In the early 70s and lived at the Sunset Strip. Yeah. Ah. I... I shared a lot of hours with your son Michael oh. kicking football on the balcony at Sunset, Sunset Street because he lived just up the road. Ah. Uh, 
in Morningstar. Mr. Howell, we enjoyed your enthusiasm in sports, horse racing, and now I, I know I learn, I learn boxing. I well remember Mr. Howell bringing championship wrestling, uh, championship wrestling, to a made-up wrestling ring on the grounds of the Nevis Club. Bef before that, before that, for us, wrestling was only on TV. Why oh, this thing keep jumping around? You two gentlemen have made your mark on Nevis and, wi and wider a field, indeed. Jetty says, how many days it took, maybe, the daughter, oh, um, but, but Spencer did answer that, I think. I think she was talking about the trip to England. So Spencer yeah. said it took about 14 days. Oh. Okay. Yes, um, Iona, Iona was saying, he hope he, um, he don't, um, share the expression on, on <laughs> what he told them in England on, on radio. Hugh Daly says, okay, let me see this one. I asked Mr. Roach about his good friend, Sam Daly. And what was that? What was that? Sam Daly. Sam Daly. Ask Mr. Roach about yeah. your friend, Sam Daly. Sam Daly. He's a policeman. Daily, 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 good, good friend. Yes. Not Jeffers, um, that's not Jeffers, that one. That's daily. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. 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 Daily. Yeah. Daily, my good friend, yeah. one shot, okay. one shot people. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daily and James. Yeah. yeah. You remember those two? Daily yeah. and James, two yeah. police, all the way together. Your good yeah. friends. Yeah. Daily mm -hmm. and James. James, I both of them gone. None of my good friends is alive. None. None of my good friends. They're all gone. Wow. They're all gone. Wow. They are gone. Mm -hmm. wow. Daily. <laughs> um, two more comments. Uh, Sandra really says, please go back a little bit to my light moment about my neighbor. The one just before my greetings to cousin Cornell. Okay, I'll have to look for that. Miko O'Brien says, good morning. Sending some love to Mr. Roach from his Trinidad friend. Oh. who loves his story he says the person says the person is mika o'brien um says yes. yeah oh. the young lady who did the balloons oh, yeah. and the yes. decoration yeah. that the mother from trinidad yeah yeah vanessa is trying to explain to you he says a, a young lady who, who, who the young lady who did the balloons on the gallery for you decorated it for your 99th birthday. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, magic, magic daughter came for something. Yeah, that, that was different. That was different. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. yes so, uh, this is a long show. Yes. Where's the yes, Lord? It's nice, it's yes. nice, it's nice. Yes, yeah, that, yep. We, got, okay. we have to get to you every Saturday to get rain, yes, Mr. Yes, yes. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. uh, all right, you know, someone was asking about the, um, you know, and Spence or Bert, you know, you can come in here, about the war years, right? And they said that life in Nevis, um, the war as well that fought the Caribbean, but it affected these areas um, in, a, in a massive way. Life was hard. Okay, you want to tell us yep. about those years during the years of the war? Yes, life on Nevis? At the end of the war, I was in Trinidad. You were in Trinidad? Yeah, okay. Well, in yes. the days, what I recall about the the war years <clears throat> was that um, food was in short supply, and um, we there's there's a building in Charlestown, or was a building in Charlestown, next to the Pimenta building. There's oh. a there's a vacant lot there. Yeah. <clears throat> there there was a band. There, that was known as the band hall. There was a a band where we used to go to mm -hmm. practice musical instruments, and that was where we also on the ground floor there was the the lunch room. So the mm -hmm. children from oh, the yeah. boys' school and girls' school used to go there for lunch. But then that got burnt, and um, 
So I remember that. And I, I, what I also recall, that someone, it's either St. Lucia or St. Vincent, someone, some British warship was torpedoed there. Do you know how far? No, 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 no. Oh, some, a British warship? Yes, uh -huh. mm. was torpedoed mm. there. But those were... And I had the la Lady Nelson, the Hawkins, and the Drake. And, uh, those... But they were Canadians. Those were Canadian, yeah. Canadian ships mm -hmm. that used to come out of Bermuda. Um, United, um, New York and then down. Yeah. Okay. The, the Nelson, the Hawkins, and the Drake. They, yeah. used, they used to bring food? Yeah. They used to yeah, bring yeah, food? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. They used to they, they, they stop, stop in the... But they used to actually, they used to pick up a lot of food here. Yeah. Because they used to um, come here for tomatoes and... Yeah lettuce and stuff like that. Yeah. We used to export things back to, back to Canada. Oh. Yeah. Through mm -hmm. tomatoes. And, and those tomatoes. Mm. Say, see, me, 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 later on later on when I worked at electricity at um at agriculture we used to export mangoes. Yeah. Oh. We used to export mangoes to Bermuda. Yeah. And to Grenada. Bermuda. 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 Yeah. We used to buy mangoes here on a Monday. The world went around. And in those days, we were only buying poly mangoes. Yeah. Poly. Yeah, because poly is a nice firm mango. Mm -hmm. We get them yes, on, yeah. pick them in on Monday, between Monday, Tuesday, and we wash them clean them up, and we had a series of boxes marked, grown in Nevis, and we fixed these boxes. And by Wednesday, they were all packed and ready. On Thursday morning, the, there was a liat, in those days, liat was just starting, and they would come with, the, they take out all the seats out of the plane. And we'll just pack this plane, send it up to Antigua, and they'll just transfer straight from the small plane to the bigger jets mm -hmm. and fly them, fly them into Bermuda. So by Thursday, by Friday morning, all these stores in Bermuda were laden yeah. with Nevis mangoes. Wow. Yeah. And, that, yes. and I, I don't know what happened. I, I had to go away. I was away in training, and by the time I came back, and I inquired about that, something about the phytosanitary certificate, and the, the, that never continued. Oh. But that went on up to um, in the 60, 68. Yes, yes. Very interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, we are very happy to know that um, Mr. Robert, at age 99, you know, is publishing yet another book. Okay. Yeah. So those of us who have been Look, con you, contemplating, you yes. Where's my briefcase? Yes. 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 You I know, want my briefcase. Yes. Oh, oh. Okay. Right. So you know, so those of us who have been yeah. contemplating publishing, all right, uh -huh. just go ahead and do it, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes, Mr. Roach, yeah, you, you, your, your second book. Yeah, yeah. I got another one for me. Oh, okay. Is it here? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you have already published um, Only God Can Make a Tree. Yes. Um, now I have uh, the sugar daddy. You have the sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is all about the tricks.
yeah, 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 he was at the top floor of the house, but he lives at the bottom floor. I asked him if he was going to stay and live upstairs with, with, her, with his daughter and her husband. He said no. He going back downstairs because he don't want them to see who woman he bring in at ah! <laughs> Sugar, sugar, sugar daddy. 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 Sugar I'm going to tell Sylvia, you know. <laughs> I say you could tell her because I got five of them every day to know. She'll be good friend. Yes, yes. What, oh, what, what, yes. What, somebody had said, Vanessa, yes. uh, Dad only got mouth. All, all the mother and daddy, all my father, my father, my father. His mouth. His mouth. Yes, his mouth, okay. Very much so. When it comes to that. So, sugar daddy? Sugar daddy, man, I don't know. Yeah, man. I'm good there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. This is going to be another reminder that he has grandchildren and great grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> you got to remind him that they're listening, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Mm. <laughs> okay. yeah, uh, but this one here, though, Vanessa got this as well. Mm. Yeah, wait, you got this, you know. Uh, she helped you write it? The birth of electricity in English. Can you imagine what English was like without electricity? Charleston had six gas lamps. Wow. But by 9 p.m., they all would go out and plunge the town into darkness. Luckily for everyone, there were no criminals about in those days, and we always looked forward for the moonlight. Birch and Roach had recently returned from Trinidad, where he worked the United States Naval Base. He was so good at his job that he was awarded a Navy E for efficiency. His friend Frederick Clybert, Stigil, of course, was in the Army and attached to the signaling division. After he left the Army, he joined the police force in St. Kitts, Navy. There were they were close pals of Charleston Boys School. Frederick told Bertram that electricity would be introduced to Navy soon, and that the management were looking for men to work in Navy on the project there. Bertram was preparing to return to Trinidad, and therefore he was not interested. But Frederick convinced him to consider the proposition. Having considered it, he made the application and was accepted for the training. Bertram went over to St. Kitts for the training. At that time, St. Kitts was changing over from DC, direct current, to alternating current. In the meantime, Frederick got a transfer from the police force to the electricity department and joined Bertram for his training in St. Kitts. At the end of their training, they were sent back to Nevis. Their boss was one, Mr. Mills from England. They both started, you know when I went down for the job, so for the training. <laughs> I was supposed to report to them 8 o'clock in St. Kitts, to the hour. 
for for you know to start my job. Start my job. My man didn't the man denied me get drunk here. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> they get drunk and I don't really know where I sleep. But anyway. <laughs> okay, Dad. Yeah, yes, the morning, the morning when we were thinking, the man tell me, I come late. You know what I mean again? Right. Mr. Mills. Uh-huh. So we went to from Mr. Mills' wife, mm-hmm. and I tell him, I told her what happened to me, and never come Mr. Mills. Go say it all. He said, oh my, she was a nice woman. Yes. The nice guy make me get my job. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she, was, she, was, she was a nice person. And she said, you go back down there and wait after lunch, and you will be all right. Mm-hmm. And she phoned her husband and tell her, oh. take, take her home to the Oh, very nice, Mrs. Mills. <laughs> okay, Thank we have a, we, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have a call. We have a call. Uh, okay. Let's pause for a call. call. We have a call. We have a call. Okay. We have a call. Mm-hmm. Yes, good morning. You're on the good old days? Yeah. Good morning. How are you? You're yeah, doing very well. And you? Okay, um, speak again for us. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we are hearing you nice, li- nicely. Yes, we just want to say thank you to Mrs. Mills Thank you, sir. Yeah, we we have we have a, a really good show in here that is kind of yeah taking out everything. You know, a very expensive. Yeah, man. Yeah. Go ahead, Spence. Okay. All right. Um. Well, okay, um. The, the caller is still there. Eh? Call, call is still there. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yes, he's calling from the U.S. and he's thanking her. Uh, he's saying thanks for bringing the family together. Yeah, well. Say your name for us again, please. Carl Paris. Oh, Carl Paris. Oh, Carl Paris. Carl Paris. Oh. Carl Paris. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Carl. Okay. Okay. Then. Thanks for thanks for sharing with us. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you want to continue with it? Or? Um. Okay. Oh, you can. Okay. You, yeah. You can hold it far away, well, Mr. Bird. Okay, um, well, Spencer is um, following in your footsteps, Mr. Roach. He's Dad. Yeah, yeah, in, yes. in which way? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, because um, he's also publishing, right? Yeah. So he'll tell us a, a bit about um, the book that he's publishing. Uh, yeah. And I guess Tessa might want to come in. Yeah. Is Tess? Okay. <laughs> is that what you Tess, right? Um, Spence brought Tess. <laughs> um, it's Saturday morning and it's raining, so you can call me whatever you want to call me. <laughs> Good morning, everyone out there. Um, it's always such a pleasure to be around Uncle Bert. Um, as a young girl growing up, I did not know Uncle Bert in person because he lived in England with his family. But he would call on, on the weekends and Daddy would always talk about Uncle Bert. It was like I knew him even though I never met him. Um, I never got a chance to meet Uncle Bert until I returned to Nevis some years ago. But um, I am extremely amazed at to watch someone at 99 years old who still have all of their faculties in place. He sees well, he speaks well, he moves around, he's not in bed, he's not being fed, he takes care of himself. Um, and what's even more amazing for me is that he has written not one book, but now two books. 
at 99 years old. And so I, I just want to give God thanks. Um, yes, Daddy, Uncle Bertram has always been Daddy's favorite. Um, and he's walked in Uncle Bertram's footsteps, I would imagine, in, in a lot of ways that I probably don't even understand. <laughs> but one of the, way, the things is that my father has now decided that he wants to publish his own book. And he has just finished completing, I don't know if the cameras can show this. Um, Unless I hold it up no, for you me. Hold oh, it. No, no, no. Okay. You hold it up. The camera is right. behind you. The camera is behind you. Okay. It's so way. it's a it's it's a book on Brown Hill Village. Um, why Brown Hill Village? That's where his ancestry is from. So Lisa, girl, if you're watching, here's the proof that I need my citizenship of Brown Hill. Yeah. <laughs> that is that says, this is a documentary on Brown Hill. Very interesting. This book is going to be out. Um, very, very soon. It's completed. We're just working on, the, on getting it published and distributed. And he's also working on his own personal book, um, personal memoirs. That's going to be coming soon, too. God has been very, very good to us in our family um, because my dad will turn, Spencer Howell will turn 90 um, on December 28th. And I pray that we will have a reunion at that time, not only of the family, but of all of his friends. And, and we'll be right here on 2020 Vision Radio um, talking about his life and, and how good God has been. And so I just want to thank everyone for listening in and joining in. And um, Daddy, you've got anything you want to say? Not really. <laughs> well, I am very much looking forward to, to that book. I love history. But what I would like to know, Tessa, if Uncle Spencer, um, because I did mention it, when he did that, that history of Charlestown, uh -huh. with all the different businesses uh -huh. and everything, I would love to see that documented um, properly so that not only myself, but the other, the younger generation, the school, they need to know about those buildings in Charlestown. And I would love, Uncle Spencer, are you listening? Yeah. I want you to document your, um, that was the first time I, and I listened to Vision. And I was just enthralled with the whole thing. Every I, building, Uncle Spencer knew about them. Mm -hmm. How they got there, mm -hmm. who ran them, who did the businesses. And I would love um, a documented version of I, that. You know, I, I, as I've gotten older, I've come to cherish and appreciate history. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, I like history. Had I not have, have a father like I do, yeah. there are a lot of things that I wouldn't know, would never know or understand yeah. about Nevis. And just this morning, we were listening to some Christmas music being played on the radio, and my dad started to sing and I said to him, that's what I remember as a young girl. Daddy would sing in his deep baritone voice the Christmas music and sometimes he'd pick, up a, uh, pick us up in his arms and he'll dance mm -hmm. with us. And that song, Good memory. Um, If I Could Dance With My Father, Father Again, again. Yeah. has so much meaning for me, me, too. me because too. I, I feel very blessed yes. that God has allowed me yes. to have my father around through this length We're of both time. Lucky. And, and Uncle Bert, all lucky. you know, so all to, um, to, to be able to relive. Yes. Because he yes. tells me the story. Sometimes I don't even understand what he's talking about, but it's so amazing. Interesting. You know, and it, it's, it's, it's interesting because I want to know why our children today don't learn these things about history, about Nevis I in the schools. Know. They learn about everywhere else. But... I remember as a child, and well, even as an adult, I used to hear my grandmother, mm -hmm. um, everybody knew her as Mama Lucille, mm -hmm. and um, the sugar Mama cake Mama and the sugar cake, yes, <laughs> yes. And she used to mention to me about, I used to hear her telling me about these business places, the Scotch House, mm -hmm. and Gaines, mm -hmm. Mr. Gaines, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. and all these different and things. And the Nook. You know, you know and when Ms. I knew Ms. about Pimenta the Nook, and the different, Pimenta and, different pl and all these different like things, that, yeah. and I'm like, wow. And then I have um, a photograph taken, must have been when cameras were first um, developed, because it was like the, la the late 
like it was 1890. And there's a photograph of Charlestown. I don't know if you've ever seen wow. it. And one of the shops, it says the Scotch House. Mm -hmm. ah, wow. And all the people are dressed mm -hmm. in these long dresses and everything. And it says, and I remember my grandmother talking about the Scotch House. And when Uncle Spencer mentioned about the Scotch House in in the 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 um the doc the, you know the, the the vision the first vision that I listened to, I was oh my god you know and I was amazed because I love history so I really want you Uncle Spencer you're listening. I'm listening. Yeah. Don't forget I want you to document all those business places in Charlestown. Daddy, what was Daddy Hull's business name? Was it the Eagle? The Eagle. Yeah. yeah. And the that is where hotel. that is where I first learned to be entrepreneurial. My grandfather had a grocery store oh. right in the building next to the courthouse where really? Shamaka's Barbershop, yeah. Oh, Daddy Hill had a grocery that. store then. Every Saturday I used to go there, weigh out flour, sugar, and at the end of the day he'll give me a little $5 and a little oh. brown <laughs> envelope. I get my pay. That was a lot of money. I, that, was a lot of, that was a lot of money oh, back then. $5? <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, and this, this these are the things that happens in in children's lives that mold you and yes. make you, when people yes. people may or may not understand yes. why you are or why you've chosen what you've chosen yes. is because of what you knew then and, yes. and you know children um, need to know I, re I remember the drugstore being by Longstone mm -hmm. yeah I remember right. that because I was just sit yes. with my grandmother when she was selling her sweets and mm -hmm. confectioners and everything mm -hmm. and i remember mr nisbet almond Nisbet. oh yeah the grocery store is right there next right there right where tdc is now the yes and i think sometimes i see the school yeah. children walking well, no. by where tdc is now it used to be called wildies Oh, I don't. I don't and then right well, next to Wildy's, where the treasury that. is now, yes, yes. Um, is where Alma Nisbet's grocery store was. Yeah. yeah. Well, and all these names that Uncle Spencer mentioned brought back so many mm -hmm. memories mm -hmm. for me sitting with my grandmother, helping her. Um, well, I don't know if I was much help. I probably ate and cleaned <laughs> more, <laughs> yeah. more than I did anything else. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I would, I would really love. Yeah. And sometimes I see the school children passing through town, to be honest, and they're going about their business. And I say, I wonder if these children know. What was he in the school? Yeah. Is anybody telling them? Because if nobody tells them, it's going to disappear. Because well, you know what just came to mind? You know where Digicel is now, right on that corner. You remember it used to be the crash? Uh, yeah. Yes. That's where all the children, yes. the little children yes. used to go in the yes. daytime. I don't yeah. remember seeing the children go there. Mm -hmm. I remember when it was finished mm -hmm. and people used to tell me, mm -hmm. you know, that that, mm -hmm. that that was a crutch. Mm -hmm. And there was another one further down mm -hmm. there as well. Yes. I don't yeah. even think they, they might even know what a crutch is. Mm -hmm. Crutch is, 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 um, a kindergarten school, or yeah. <laughs> nursery. We call them nurseries now, but in those days, they call them a yeah. crutch. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. I, I hope teachers are listening and publishers, mm -hmm. and they could please take note um, of, of what I'm saying and get the children to learn some history about their own mm -hmm. country. Oh, yes. Definitely, oh, yes. about this, the, the town that they walk through every day yeah. and right around the island, all the mm -hmm. different plantation inns. Mm -hmm. They need to know. I've interviewed many students for jobs when I was at Four Seasons, and I was totally shocked that they didn't know. Yeah. And you're not going to believe they me. They don't have a queue. They'd never you know? been, and they did not know that yeah. Nevis had Hamilton Museum. Well, you know, um, you the truth. If, yeah. I, if, I may, if I may just butt in there, because you mentioned something there, and... Um, it is something that, in a sense, has been plaguing us mm -hmm. because you often, be, because you say you, you look at the school children mm -hmm. and you wonder if they know. And I'm saying they don't. Okay. They don't because they haven't been told. They haven't they been told. And, 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 and I mean, we, 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 keep, we keep hearing it. We keep them. hearing it and we keep getting it that we need to teach our people our history. Yes. 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 So at least they have an idea of the foundation, where we have come from mm -hmm. and the journey. Mm -hmm to where we are. Oh yeah. People like my dad and Uncle Spencer with what they've written mm -hmm. and what, what mm -hmm. Daddy's saying there about um, the book, he, he's there. Th th this will help. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, th this will help. Yes, a lot. And, and well, and we have done, we have, we have made, a, I, 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 I think, I would call it a valuable contribution mm -hmm. from this vantage point. Mm -hmm. We have had Spencer on a number of times and, you know, he, have, he has um, recounted for us um, 
and persons and uh, uh, almost every time that we have one of these sessions mm -hmm. um, somebody will remind us that there need to be some documentation yes. and so I believe just like you are saying mm -hmm. it is time to take it to the next step yes. it is good to hear it from them I agree it is good you. to hear from yes. them but, but it needs the, to be done, yes it, it, it needs to be documented because at some point in time that voice will not be, be there to, yeah. to, 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 to repeat well, it and recount it for us. If so. I may, all mm -hmm. of the Brown Hillians that are listening yeah. online right now, you guys need to get this book, Brown Hill Village, because it goes way, way back. Good. My dad takes it way, way back to, I mean, I hear of things in this book that I never heard of before, mm -hmm. villages yeah. and names and people. Yeah. Um, um, and it, it gives you a lot of history. It has pictures of what Brown Hill looks, used to look like. And just imagine, this is what the entrance to Brown Hill looks like now. <laughs> this is what the entrance to Brown Hill looks like now. Those of you who live abroad wouldn't even recognize this That's right it. now. Well, you know? So, well, it's Tessa, been transformed. I, Tessa, Tessa, I hear, I hear you calling Lisa, and Lisa is a good friend of mine. So when mm -hmm. I finish, when we finish, <laughs> I can, before you go, I'm going to take a picture of that book, and uh -huh. I'm going to make sure she knows, and I'm going to let her know, well, you can continue to big up Brown Hill if you don't have this, you know. Exactly. <laughs> Tessa, where are you from? Yeah. That's it. We just, print, we just got, them, got it printed about two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just got it printed. I would like one. I would like one. Yes, yeah, we will. Don't we'll, worry, you'll get it. We'll, 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 we'll set it out for you. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be very good. Yeah, well, you know, it's now 11 30. Uh, wow. And we don't want to keep up, uh, you know, I mean, okay. Spence and Bert have been here for a while. So, um, any, 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 any contributions from the wall? Uh, yes, Spence? yes. Oh. Let me see where we are. Mika Brian. Okay, this is where I should start from. Um, Carl Manners had another contribution. Said, Mr. Roach, yeah. you lamented that all your good friends gone. Lord, after all, you're looking to live to, to, to be 250. <laughs> you think they could keep up with you? <laughs> you know, <easy. laughs> you're asking too much from him. <laughs> <laughs> I already said we should go back to doing exportation of mangoes because our mangoes are the best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Magdalene Sargent says good morning to you all. Lynnet Files says, good morning all, especially Mr. Roach and Howell. Bonnie Jeffers says, happy birthday, Bertram, my friend and family. <laughs> That's the nurse. Um, Sharon Roach again says, sugar daddy, the next book. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Daly, Hugh Daly says, good shows, guys. Sugar daddy. S say, hello. Mm -hmm. say hello to Mr. Howell and Mr. Roach for me. He's uh, here with us. Hugh Daly. Yeah. Thomas Hughes says, hi, Grandpa. Thomas good, Hughes. Good yeah. morning, all. And Bonnie Jeffers says, again, great memory for his age. Indeed, indeed. I wonder if it's... <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, you would know. I mean, with, you, with your um, medical background, he says, great memory for his age. I wonder if it's, it's the rum in those days. Uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, chap, uh, chap, he made me so. Uh, even, uh, and even uh, Charles uh, give us a big laugh there. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Lynette says, Chatterbox, Mr. Roach. Yeah. <laughs> Adele says, Well done, Mr. Howell. And Lynette says, Congrats to my friend, Mr. Howell, um, on the pub publication of that book. Magdalene Sargent says, He's really a sugar daddy, Uncle Roach. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to just, just say something quickly. Yes. Adele and Iona, um, thank you. Thank you to your father for being so good to my grandfather in his latter years. Thank you so very much. OK, very well. Very well. Um, very cool. To their father, you say? To their father. The father, to, OK. To Mr. my Duo. grandfather, yeah. Mr. Doerr. Mr. Doerr, uh-huh. OK. He was a very close friend. He was like mm -hmm. almost a companion to my grandfather, especially after he was. Um, mm -hmm. he was. Yeah. Um, I always, I, that's where I knew Mr. Doe from. Yeah, very good to my grandfather. Haven't seen him in a little bit. I um, understand he's not doing too, too well at the moment. Okay. I mean, you, you, you know, he's a um, local preacher, Methodist local yes. preacher, but he has not been in active duty for a little while now, okay. you know. Yeah, so um, we, 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 we join with you in um, that um, expression of, of gratitude. Um, he's a wonderful gentleman. I, I am happy that I have gotten the chance to know him, yeah. you know. Even Chan says, no, before that, Sharon Roach says, looking forward to your books, Uncle Spencer. Yes, and Even now says, good morning, Vanessa. Mm. 
Yvonne, Yvonne, Yvonne Chance. He said, good morning, Vanessa. <coughs> nice to see you, cuz. Miss the harmonica piece. We might uh, multitasking on Zoom there. On Zoom today. Okay. Um, well, I, 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 I have thought of asking that we get one more piece to yes, yes. close sure off. Enough, yeah. Just after we finish the, um, I finish the, the, the Yasmin. Yasmin, I think this is a, a French name. Yasmin okay. Poitou, that's my sister. Okay, Her say it again. France. Yeah. Yasmin Poitou. Poitou. No, okay. Okay. Good, good, wow. good. Yes, I couldn't get the four. I, I, I could have figured out the two, but I couldn't figure out the four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two. <laughs> bon, and she says, Bonjour from France. Uh, Happy bonjour. birthday, Dad. Hi, Uncle Spencer. Bonjour, bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> Adele says, uh, You're welcome, um, Tessa. He always speaks fondly of Mr. Howell. Yeah. Iona Do says, You've, You're welcome, Tessa. He's Adele's grandfather, though. He's doing all right for now. Thanks be to God. Okay, very well. Um, and Ermin Farrell said, been listening for a while. Very good show. Happy belated birthday, Mr. Roach. Those are the comments we have for now. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. So we, we're going to end as we started with the harmonica? Yes. Harmonica. Yes. yes. Mr. Roach, yes? Yeah. Yes. The, the, one more the piece for the, yes. One more piece for the road. Yes. Yes. One more piece yes. for the road. Well, before, no. bef before he plays his piece, maybe we should give... Um, what a religious him. Awesome. Anything. That would what be what nice. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should say thank you to, to him, um, Chesley. Uh, Mr. Roach and his daughter Vanessa and um, his brother Spencer and his niece uh, Tessa for Tessa. being with us here with on the good old days. Mm -hmm. um, we we normally try to enjoy the, the, the show more than everyone else. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> thank you all very much, Mr. Howell is always always you know that always yes, a pleasure. Willing, to, uh, yeah, okay, he is. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to find a way to, to to plant a device in your home so that we can have everything we want you. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> But well, you know, with technology, anything is possible, huh? Yeah. That's yep. it. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. yeah. But we'll have to log into you more often. Well, thank you very much. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Tessa? Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome, as yes. always. Always, yes. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, and, you know it's, it's, it's really good to see how um, Vanessa and Tessa are taking care of the... You know, the, the, the elders, yes, yes, and, yes. And they are still with us because of the care and the love. That yes. is true. Okay, so <laughs> we hope that others, you know, in the community, um, in Nimes at large, you yeah. know, would really try and, um, you know, take care of them. Right, you know, yeah. follow their example. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. you. you know, I would, and, and and just before you play a piece, Mister Roach, I, I I would want to join um with the others and love this year. Well, um, blessings to you. Yes. On the celebra celebration of your 99th birthday. This is the um, first time in my life that I hear and see anybody that celebrates 99. 99, and so and so and, and so vibrant, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it but I mean, I've seen people. So well. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Well, yes, but mm -hmm. I mean, he made it up. Uh, to he made it up. Because yes. when when I saw the stairs, I panicked. Oh. <laughs> I remember thinking, "Oh my God, why didn't they have? Did I see you or somebody downstairs?" And I said, "Why? Why have you got? <laughs> oh, how, how 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 am I going to get a ninety-nine-year-old man up these stairs?" Yes. And I just said to Daddy. One step at a time. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. When I look, I see Daddy reach two, three steps, and I'm behind. <laughs> <What is that? laughs> and I'm like, Daddy, please take your time. Yeah, I am. And yeah. he's like skipping a step. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, but yes. very slowly, but he was missing every other step. He was just yeah. going up. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I was quite quite impressed. Yeah. Very good. Very good. You know, and I, for, for me, yeah. I, 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 love, I love opportunities to interact with our elders. Yes, yes, it's very important. Yeah. I have had a life of experience, you know, in terms of experience in interaction with elders. Um, in 1988, my grandmother, my maternal grandmother, she departed us at age 93. Mm -hmm. And she was still pretty much, uh, 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 to her, to her it was just, it was a fall mm -hmm. that um, she got a fall, injured her hip, and okay. that, you know, put out her circulation. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, all when she, enough and coming yeah. through that woman still busy 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 yeah. you know That's and then you have to keep yes busy. and then in, right. in in 2018 my my mother busy. departed just yeah. a, um, a couple of months after her 92nd birthday yeah. and oh. I mean I was so happy that she made it because she was in the hospital I was so happy that she saw the 92nd after that and she decided I would have liked to still have her around because yeah. somehow I just like to 
rub yeah, shoulders yeah, with the, the yes. those persons of that age, mm -hmm. it, it, it feels special. Yeah. So, it Mr. Is. Roach, yes, we are happy to have you yeah. in our presence. Thank and, you. And Spencer, yes. as usual, we are happy to have you joining us. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we hope we get to celebrate some more with you and interact with you some Manchester. more. Yeah. I'm yeah. looking forward to that book. Yes. Sugar Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blessings, dance for us doing a dance for us Janice Green um, and just the last two comments somebody else watching in some days CJ Hendrickson Brown Carol uh, he said, good morning all does Mr. Howell's book include the ship that used to come for the donkeys and horses my grandfather was from Brown Hill James Patefield Hendrickson who went off to Santo Domingo in the old days my aunt, Teacher Nelly's father, Lynette Farrell says, go get that single Mr. Roach. Oh, go get that single Mr. Roach to 100. Mr. Howell all as well to, oh, as well to score your 90. Okay, very well. And we are looking to celebrate the, with them the next one. Yes. And, and, and we'll do one at a time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Bonnie, yeah. Bonnie Jeffers says, lovely. Congratulations to the seniors. Blessings and Carl Manners. Finish off says, Where you guys going so fast? <laughs> Contents <laughs> like this <Yeah>. makes <laughs> <laughs> Contents <laughs> like this makes the show too short. Yeah. <laughs> great, <laughs> great show, guys. Yes. Blessings to the two good gentlemen and Yasmin with the I'll give Yasmin a final say yes, Uncle Spencer has a beautiful voice. Yes, he does. Okay. Yes, he does. Yes, so yes, that yes. is where right. we leave it for another good old oh, days. Um Thank you.